Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing the challenge for King Map today. So thank you Wolf Tracker for the map. Now we are on what appears to be the left hand side of the road with a yellow divider line. Now this is probably, I don't know how you chose your locations. You said they were random. Um, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see if we can figure out where we are all the time. And the fact that we're on the left hand side of the road, that's fucking weird, man. We do got some English. Um, we got a phone number. I can't really read this sign right here. It looks like there was a fucking... Go back. Come on. Come on. Come on. License plates that we might be able to see. I, I know I saw it, guys. Where the fuck was it? Come on, put me on the other side. Put me on the other side. God damn it. Whatever. Uh, we'll go down a little bit further. Oh, go to Bermuda.com. I wonder. I fucking wonder. Uh, Bermuda. It's a small little fucking island. I know nothing about this place. Uh, but that, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty telling. I don't know. You tell me. I didn't even know Bermuda was left-hand side of the road. So this is probably more of a touristy thing, then. Right? Does this one have it? This one doesn't have it. Ooh. All right. Now, the Bermuda Triangle, which obviously is a triangle built around Bermuda, Miami, and somewhere else, is supposed to be like this, this long-lost, mysterious place in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, we got it back. Um, where, you know, planes and boats mysteriously disappear, never to be seen from again. So what made you choose Bermuda? I, I don't think we're going to be able to figure out where in Bermuda we are, but Bermuda is such a small little place that we should get a relatively good score just for even guessing in the middle of it. Um, I'm going to guess on South's Road. And actually, not that bad. Um, so, clearly... Everyone else saw that we were in Bermuda. You know, there was there was no getting around that. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, God. And we're on horseback? Mongolia. There's, there's, we gotta be. We gotta be in fucking Mongolia. There's no fucking way. We're, we're on Google Street View on horseback. We're riding through the fucking desert. This isn't Antarctica, I can tell you that. If the, and I think this isn't the Faroe Islands. Because I could see you fucking doing that shit, man. I could see it. Uh, so I'm definitely thinking Mongolia. Um, however, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up being in Peru. Because I think I was talking about Machu Picchu. I could see it, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if we end up being in the Andes Mountains. Um, and since we are on just a fucking horseback, we basically have two guesses. And only one of them will be able to use efficiently. Um, I don't think we're going to guess Mongolia. Mongolia, I think, is a little bit more flat. I know there are some mountains in the Mongolian area. But this this might be the Peru guess in the Andes Mountains. Um, just because that's what I was kind of talking about, right? Now, am I supposed to go in the other way? Probably. Let's go down the mountain. Can we, we could go... Eh, not really effectively... Um, but I doubt we're going to be able to find too much of anything. Uh, now it's kind of flattening out. It looks like it was carved by fucking glaciers. Eh. And maybe. I mean, we do got all these fucking snow top mountains. Oh, fuck me. This is going to be tough. Uh, I can see it actually being Greenland or Iceland. Um, this is a good one. This is a tough location. This is a good one. Now, we're really not going to get too much of anything from this. This is where we separate the winner from the loser. And Wolf Tracker already knows where these locations are, because Wolf Tracker is the one who chose the locations. Isn't that great? Um, fuck. We're not going to get anything out of this. We're really not. You're not even going to show me what my fucking horse looks like, you piece of shit? Come on. Gosh. Fuck. 
I wish I could see what like this guy looks like. Um, because that could help me choose where we would guess. Because if we could see what he kind of looks like or resembles, then maybe we would get a good idea of his ethnicity. And his ethnicity could help us. Like from the back, I'm thinking Peru. Um, it's gonna end up not being Peru. I, I'm telling you that now. Um, but hey, I tried. And you guys guessed Mongolia, and it ends up actually being Argentina, but I was pretty close with the Peru guess, uh, so that's 712 points. That's a fucking, that was a tough one. Oh god, this feels like Russia to me. Definitely feels like fucking Russia to me. However, we're looking for threes, I do see a three there. So this could be Russia, uh, could also be Mongolia. We're in like the fucking backskirts, man. Holy shit. Alright, a little bit more of a lively area. Definitely Russia. Um, I don't see anything, no website, no nothing, nothing that says .ru. Because uh, we still have to be concerned about some other places. Uh, the Ukraine and... Mongolia, but I don't think this is Mongolia. I'm definitely thinking this is Russia. Now, I've never had a good Russian guess. We we all know that for a goddamn fact. I've never really had a good Russian guess. Um, I'm going to try to get a good Russian guess out of this. This does seem like it's a kind of large city. That is definitely Russian up there. So I'm going to confirm that we are, in fact, in Russia. Now we play the game of where the fuck in Russia are we? Um, and since I don't really speak Russian, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't speak Russian, we are left to comparing and contrasting. Now, if we find something that looks Chinese, we can go with that weird looking fucking Russia that Debray was talking about over here. Uh, blah, 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 that one. Um, but I think we're going to go with probably something a little bit more mainstream. I don't know if that's even the right way to put it. But there's so many fucking apartment complexes. So this has got to be like a popular place in Russia. At least that's what I'm thinking. God. Uh, I'm not really finding too much of anything. I mean, these these signs are probably pretty important, right? Um, looks like there's going to be a website at the bottom of this one. Just to double check. Nope. God. Alright. Uh, where the fuck are we? I mean, that's the whole point of the game, isn't it? But, like, obviously Russia. We know that. We know we're in Russia. Where the fuck in Russia are we? And how am I able to figure that out more clearly when I play in Russia maps? Without knowing the language. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, fuck. Alright. I'm not guessing over there. I'm going to guess one of these two. Because that's more middle. And we, we did win somewhat. Alright. So it was more Siberian. More towards the north. Um, but 1,664 points. Not bad. I didn't know this part of Russia had Street View. I thought that was closed off. But I guess I was wrong. Okay. And then a badge. Taxi, maybe. Maybe Columbia. Who knows? Left-hand side of the road. Uh, so that does change a few locations. We got palm trees. So it's got to be warm. Left-hand side of the road, warm palm trees. Uh, Weird-looking fucking building. Got it. All right. Uh, come on. You got to tell me something. You're going to give me something. Uh, maybe. Let's see what the sign says. Maybe Tunisia. Especially since I've been fucking around with Tunisia a lot lately, haven't I? But it looks kind of Arabic in some sense. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we had one on every continent. Well, or kind of one. Committed to rule Nabard. Welcome to Namin. I don't even know. Alright, but uh, it does have some Arabic, if you saw it, right over here. And putting us in South Africa would probably be a good guess. Um, dot, is that a dot com? I think it's a dot com. 
dot com. It is a dot com. Uh, fuck. What kind of? But it's in English. It's in English in this. So we could be Malaysia, perhaps. Maybe Singapore. Potentially. Now we we can we already found a dot com. That dot com is pissing me off, and we can't even fucking go that way. Great. Uh, nothing over here. Fuck, man. That was gonna be it too. Uh, let's return to start and go this way. All right. Now we got to make up some lost time here, which isn't really too much lost time. Can we find a website on here? Skyline Executive. Nope. Can we find something on the fire truck looking fucker? Nope. All right. Nice. Websites over here. There's got to be. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. No. It's right fucking there. You fucking suck, man. Thanks, Google. Oh, God. Now we're in one of those. Google. This is why I fucking hate your locations. Oh god. It's like we're fucking walking. I think we are walking. I want to go down here. Further down, Google. God. Look how far we're fucking going each time. We're not going far. Alright. We're doing it. Indonesia. We got wrong. India, you guys, um, Mumbai, you guys almost got a fucking perfect score. I couldn't even fucking move at that point. That was a shitty fucking, shitty spot for me to end up. All right, United States. I'm, I'm going for it. No matter what, United States. Uh, maybe Canada. Maybe Canada. Uh, residential area, we could probably find our way out of here. It might take some time, however. Um, we need, like, a perfect score in this location to win. That's, that's the end of that one. Uh, but we've never actually been to Mumbai before. In any, in any game we've ever played, we've never been to Mumbai. Now, I thought, now I could be wrong, but I was told India didn't have Street View, so that's why I didn't even consider India. So was that more the, the unofficial Street View? Alright, we're in probably Japan. It's definitely not the United States, unless this is like the, the last one, where... We could be in China with unofficial street view. So, this is a fucking weird looking place in Japan, if this is Japanese. Um, we need to find a car to, to tell us we're on the left hand side of the road. Um, or we could be somewhere else. Yeah, if they're right there, we're, we're on the left hand side. So they're doing construction. Doing something, pothole repair maybe. Wow, I've... I never really thought this is what Japan would look like. We've been to Japan a few times, and it's never really looked like this. The Swedish center and the Sweden hills? What? The fuck, Japan? Definitely on the left-hand side of the road. All right. Japan, Japan's got some shit wrong. All right, let's start off fucking there. What the fuck, Japan? Yeah, this is this is a very unique area. It's got to be a very unique area of Japan. Because when I think of Japan, I can tell you one thing. It's not this. It's it's mountainous like areas or Tokyo. And maybe maybe that's just what I've been shown, you know, through TV shows and movies. You know, Tokyo Drift. You think of the fucking mountain passes. And you think of fucking middle of Tokyo. That's... And that's not all my extent with fucking Japan. But it was something that, you know, growing up, that was a huge part. Did we just get fucked again? Okay, so then it's got to be unofficial Street View. This is fucking tough. And it's probably going to be one of those weird fucking islands. Alright, I'm choosing this island because it doesn't look like a typical Japanese place. Fuck! It was the top part. Alright, so I mean, altogether, we fucking sucked. <laughs> I mean, and that's everyone. That's everyone. Now, that Mumbai thing fucking, that was trash. That, that was, that was, a, I don't know, man. You guys, you guys tell me, hey, it doesn't have it, and then, 
unofficial Street View put you there, and I thought, I don't know. It's a learning experience. It really is. Altogether, Wolf Checker, it was good. You know, it was, it was random, uh, but that fucking unofficial shit was fucking weird. And that Japanese thing, that dude, that was a weird fucking Japanese location. I don't know if you if you chose these locations, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. That Bermuda one, we kind of, everyone got, it looks like. Well, whoever the leader was. So let's check out the full results. And Ophelion coming in first place, and Dabray not far behind. Ooh, alright, so... Both of you got Mumbai. Was it the language, or was there something else you saw that I didn't? Uh, it looks like me and Dabray guessed around the same spot in Russia. Um, but I think you got a lot closer in the Argentina guess. But all together, there was a lot of, there was a lot of all over the place. So, that, if, here's the thing. Does that mean it was hard if it's all over the place? Or does that mean we didn't have enough time? Because if we had more time, do you think we would have been able to solve it all? Or do you guys think that the time is what makes it hard and that's what's fun about it? So please let me know down below, but that is going to do it for us today. I do hope you all enjoyed watching this episode of GeoGuessr. We're back on track, guys. We're back on track. I do look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. And bye-bye.